Uh, the door's gone. Okay, I guess we're not leaving then. Hey everybody, this is Reapy Ron, and today we're going to be playing a game called Down. This is supposed to be a game about anxiety and depression. Um, I don't... Okay, there's no real controls or anything. Um, how do I... Okay, if only it were that easy. Alright. This game looked interesting and sounded interesting, so I wanted to play it. Um, you are broken. Well, that's not very nice. Why am I broken? Do I need to be fixed? <laughs> I feel like I'm so functional. Oh, you can do like a weird moonwalking time and strike. <laughs> You are a whore. Um, you are disgusting. That's not true. You look okay to me with all your pixely uh, parts. Nobody can love you now, not after what you did. What did you do? Did you kill somebody? Even so, serial killers even get, like, you know, partners after a while. Uh, even in jail. Are you just going to keep crying about it? Uh, maybe. My stuffed toe is for real. <laughs> or are you going to give yourself what you deserve? Um. Next area? Okay. I'm in a cemetery now. I like the visuals. You weren't there for her. It was her. You were too busy worrying about yourself. Okay. She needed you. Who is she? Who is this person? Is it like her daughter or her friend? Imagine I'm gonna find her grave. Well, maybe not. Maybe she's Gone. She killed herself. She died alone. You weren't there. Again, who is she? Okay, we're going inside some sort of building now. Ah, uh, the door's gone. Okay, I guess we're not leaving then. That's not good. That, that's really not good. What does the note say? Or daddy? What? He's been gone a long time and you still aren't over it. He would be so disappointed in you. Now, this just looks like an end endless abyss. At least out there it does. Oh, man. Okay, so I was thinking that was something else. Oh, there's no note. You're getting what you deserved. Red? You are a burden on all of your friends. Yeah, I can see why this is to deal with depression and with suicide and anxiety. Nobody will ever love you. Okay. It's about time you stop being a coward. Alright, let's go to the garage then? Stop being a coward and fix this. What the heck? No, don't do that! Don't do that! That's not good, don't do that! Oh, God. Uh, 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 uh. What? 
What's going on? I'm back to, to here. What happens if I go this way? Oh, there is no this way. No other way. So does the game just repeat, or is there like a second way you can do this? And it doesn't really appear that there is a <coughs> any other way to do this game. So I guess this is the end of the game. Um, so yeah, this definitely was a game that dealt with anxiety and depression and suicide. Um, if anybody out there is struggling with any thing like that, be sure that uh, you get help and talk to people around you. I'm sure someone around you um, can help you. If not, there are people who are paid to, uh, to you know, just to talk, just to talk to people. Um, and I talked about this in a blog a while ago, but I, I feel like it needs to be brought up here too. Um, and that is that I actually have depression. Um, and I was diagnosed with it when I was 19, I believe. So I've had it for about five years. Um, and at times it can be really debilitating. It can be really difficult because, um, there's times where I just don't want to do anything. I just feel so bad about myself. Um, yeah, I've gotten a lot better at controlling it, uh, as it's gone by. Um, and... You know, there there is ways to help you out. Um, like I said, I was diagnosed with it when I was 19, so I've been living it with it for five years. Um, I do have uh, some medication that I do take occasionally. Um, I, I don't take regular medication anymore. I used to for about the first two years of doing it, but since then I've taken gradually less and less of it um, to where now I only really take it when I start feeling that way and kind of let it build back up into my system so that I can um, just just better regulate it. Um, and it's not that you should always be trying to be happy. That's, that's probably never going to work. Um, you can't be happy 100% of the time. But what you can be is content with where you were at. And that's what I believe everybody should be trying to do. Um, yes, you should try to be happy as compared to trying to be sad because it's a lot more fun to be happy than it is to be sad. But just know that you're not going to be happy all the time. There are going to be tough points in your life. and There's going to be hard times when there's just not a reasonable way to be happy. You're going to feel bad. Uh, you're going to feel down. You're going to feel bad. But at the very least, you can still feel content at where you are and be thankful for what you have and what you've accomplished. Um, you, you, there's a good chance you've accomplished a lot. Um, something that I heard that's actually, I guess, a true statistic as far as I know the other day was that if you live in North America, uh, particularly in the U.S., there's a very high chance that you're in the top 2% of people who, who actually have money worldwide. So whether you're just feeling like, oh, you're useless, you're, you're down, you're sad. Um, I don't know if that, that statistic will help you at all <laughs> with those feelings, but just to think that you would have, a, you would likely have a home and a family, friends, just a dog, a cat, a turtle like me. Um, just, just take those things as, just don't take them for granted that you were blessed enough to get all these opportunities and to see all the things that you've seen and do all the things that you do. Um, depression happens to everybody. And there's a lot of people like me who to have depression as a medical problem um, and just know that you're not alone and even though a lot of my videos I'm rather calm and collected or I'm happy and outgoing 
And I just know that that's not me all the time. There are times when I'm just down and don't want to do anything. But, you know, it, it's not... It's, it's never bad to acknowledge that you have more complex emotions than what you think. Um, so long as you don't dwell on the problems and try to come up with solutions uh, to those problems, even if it's not going to be an overnight fix. It's not like you feel sad, you feel terrible about yourself. Tomorrow you're going to wake up and you're gonna be the, it's going to be the best day of your life. That's probably not going to happen. But just know that uh, you just gradually going to work towards doing better. So sorry if this last part kind of got rambly and I kind of went off on a tangent. Uh, but just know that there there is a lot of help with um, with depression, anxiety, and uh, suicidal thoughts or actions, um, and of course grief counseling. Um, if you are just really bad you just don't know what to do you know call somebody that you know call a doctor call the, the suicidal hotline um, somebody will help you and I hope that you get the help that you need and that you make something amazing out of your life um, I really do I think everybody's capable of doing amazing things so yeah um, I'm going to end the video here because I don't really know how else to end it, but uh, yeah, just know that you're not alone. Uh, I guess I guess I'll do my outro even though it doesn't feel quite right here, but whatever. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys have been having a good day, keep on having a good day. If you guys have been having a bad day, I hope this video made your day just a little bit better. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, stay cool and... Bye.